How do you make a decision? Let's say you're challenged with a major life decision. <clears throat> Your mother is sick and the doctor says, if we operate, she might live. If we operate, <clears throat> we may kill her. What do we do? We don't know. So you consult with another medical professional and you consult with another and everyone says the same thing. We don't know. We don't really know. <clears throat> maybe she'll live, maybe she'll die. We can't tell you, uh, we, we don't know. And you have to call the shot. Now here's the problem. You cannot make that decision. Why? Because if you make that decision, you might very well spell the death of your mother. And you can't know whether the right decision is for, to go for the operation or not to, because who knows what the outcome is? And it's at that moment that you have to recognize one you sowed. My job is not to make the right decision. My job is to gather the facts and make the best decision I can at the moment. Meaning to say Hashem runs the world. My job is to use my wisdom, go about the ways of the world, ask one doctor, second medical opinion, get as much information as I can, and then I have to make the best decision I can. I cannot make the right decision. I'm not a prophet. I'm not Hashem. That's Hashem's job. My job is to make the best decision, and then I take my heavy load, I transfer it to Hashem, and I say, Hashem, it's your world. But you see this concept, and then I'm not responsible to make the right decision. I can't make the right decision. I'm only supposed to make the best decision that I can based on the circumstances, based on my understanding, is a fundamental concept for how to go about this business called life.